السلام عليكم We welcome to uh, break your face. Muhammad, we have a special interview. Muhammad, yes. hold yes, up, yes, hold yes. up, hold up. You, yes. You're wearing the shirt. You can't take my lines. <laughs> Bro, I'm taking over the show, man. This is what's going to happen with March 11. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Looking forward to March 11. Muhammad, you need no introduction, my man. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for representing Break Your Face TV. Let's thank start you. that over again. Assalamu alaikum, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Muhammad Fakhreddin, a man who will attempt to make history on March 11 at Brave CF 57 and become the first Arab double champ. He's already made history by joining us here today and becoming the fighter with the most appearances on Break Your Face TV. Such a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you so much. It's always pleasure a good day when you're on the show with us. Thank you. It's for a pleasure joining. having you on my show, my brother. Habib Muhammad, thank you so much. You've got a huge fight coming up. I've said it many times before and I'll say it again. This is the biggest rematch in Arab MMA history. We were waiting for an announcement Wait. between every single Brave event on when it was finally going to happen. The time is now and the timing could not be any better. Brave is finally back in Bahrain. The world is finally opening up after a very challenging two years fighting the coronavirus. You will be back in front of a live audience from this region specifically in front of fans from Lebanon, Bahrain and the rest of the Middle East. How excited are you to be back in Bahrain and fighting in front of the regional crowd? I am pumped. Yeah. I can't wait. Bahrain is my second home, man. I got I got a lot of friends there. I got a lot of family. Uh, I got a lot of a, a lot of people that backing me up, and um, I'm ready to put on a show for everybody in Bahrain. So, Mohamed, you've made a big life change before this fight. You moved to Dubai. We've, of course, been watching you, some of your training on social media, and we've exchanged a few chats, uh, briefly touched on this subject. Tell us a little bit about uh, your move, about living in Dubai, about training there. Tell us what impact you believe this could have on your upcoming fight. Um, I'm, I'm focused. I'm 100% focused. I have no distractions whatsoever. Um, and... Um, I, Luckily for me, I, I have a lot of people around me that love me and support me. I have a few friends that flew from Kuwait, from Lebanon, uh, from around the world to come and help me. So um, I'd like to thank these people. I'd like to thank my brothers, Asana Saidi, Yusuf Wahbi, uh, Shabal Diab, Muhammad Asiri. Those people have been with me through thick and thin. Adon Ayyub, uh, those guys have been helping me throughout my camp. And uh, yeah, I would like to thank them on air and um I, i'm really i really appreciate it and uh we go on march 11th we're going to get that belt no matter what happens we're looking forward to it now this is the second time you face muhammad saeed Ma'allim. we know the history but a quick recap for those who may not know now some controversy started before the first fight with plenty of back and forth on social media and trash talk a lot of heat going into the first one but then it gets postponed on the day of the fight due to medical reasons on your end the second time the trash talk gets worse uh, the fight is scheduled to take place, but it ends in controversy with some strikes to the back of your head. The win goes to Ma'allim, but the Italian MMA Federation declares that the strikes to the back of the head affected the outcome of the fight. The result has changed to a no contest. Now, will the beef finally be settled the third time around? Is the third time the charm, as they say? And how do you see the fight playing out? I'm going to beat him just as I was beating him in the first round, in the first fight. And um, there is, it's not, the fight is not going to go another way. I'm, I'm going to pick him apart. This time I'm going to be a little bit more careful. So I, um, I got clipped in the first round. I'm going to make sure that never happens again. And uh, I'm going to pick him apart in, in this fight. And uh, at the end of the night, I'm going to have my hand raised no, raised no matter what. Uh, plenty of confidence going into it. Now, uh, Muhammad, after the fight and the no contest, some thought that the trash talk would end. It seems it intensified and escalated, though. Recently, you were quoted as saying that Muhammad is carrying a piece of metal around. He's not the champion. And if he thinks he is, then he's got mental it's issues. If, if, you go, if, you go, if you go on, uh, on Shared Dog or Topology, the fight was declared in no contest. And when the fight is declared in no contest, it means that you never won the fight. And if you never won the fight, you were never crowned a champ. So if you were never crowned a champ, why are you carrying the belt around saying that you are the champion when you were never crowned a champion? So uh, I only, I, I, I personally think only mental people like with mental issues, people that they, 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 they make a, they make up a story or they, they tell a lie and they, they, they just believe it and they go with it. it 
hoping other people will believe it too. But Marshall Levin, he's going to get exposed and he's going to get his ass whooped. Uh, uh, Mohammed, on on that point, now uh, there are some individuals that have said that the trash talk and the insults are unnecessary. You're both Arab fighters. You shouldn't be insulting each other to hype up the fight, as per what they're. This isn't. Is. This isn't uh, a hype up. This is not a hype up. This is for real. Oh, that's that's I, actually I really exactly. I don't like the guy. Okay, so there are genuine negative feelings towards Malim. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Someone that, that insults your family and someone insults your last name, where I come from, that will never end. Now, even though even though after the fight he did apologize, he said, "Listen, we're brothers." That don't that don't count. It does it doesn't count. You could uh, action speaks louder than, than than words. But you can't say something and then apologize for it and expect everything to be fine all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Forgive and forget. It don't work that way. Uh, Mohammed, uh, now of course you see yourself winning this fight. And if that is the result on the 11th of March, history tells us that it would be likely we would see a third one between you and the Ma'allim sometime in the future. Now, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. I know you don't want to overlook your opponent. But if you do become champ champ at Brave CF 57, do you think there would be a trilogy fight? Would it be likely that we would see one? If there is, I don't mind. You'll be ready either way. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm ready to fight him 100 times and I'm ready to beat him 100 times. All right, all right. Mohamed, yani, that's all much further in the future. Until then, you've got a fight that's not too far away. We're absolutely looking forward to it. We know it's going to be absolute fire. Uh, scores are going to be settled, and we just cannot wait. We'll be there watching it live. Anyone who has a chance should do the same. First and foremost, we wish you safety and health going to the fight as well as after it, and wish you all the best on the 11th of March. Thank you so much for your time, and we look forward to seeing you very soon in Bahrain. Thank you for having me, and I'm looking forward to meeting you in person, my brother. Thank you, Mohammed. And March 11th, everybody, all the fans. Uh, this is this is not. I'm not. We're not trying to help up the fight. The hate is for real. There is bad blood, and bad blood is never going to end. Scores so are going to sure be March settled. 11, scores are going to be settled. March 11th. Make sure you're there. If you can't make it, make sure you tune in and you watch the fight. It's going to be fireworks.